Yes, some do it, but it's not the norm. Watch bless. And the ocean and space are the two things we are surrounded by, yet know so little about. Every time an explorer plunges into the ocean, Today, I it's unlikely that they will come back up to the by surface without discovering a new species or variety of creature. Nagasaki. But every now and then, an unknown creature is washed up on a beach, or something is spotted during an expedition that cannot be explained. These things, once again, show us the endless possibilities the ocean is home to. Sit back and know that everything talked about in this video is sharing the I hate the sea, dude. Shark eaten by unknown sea creature. In 2003, Australian filmmaker Dave Riggs and his crew were asked to tag an adult great white shark along Australia's coast so they could monitor its behaviour. One of the first great whites they managed to tag was a magnificent nine foot long female. She was strong, healthy, and given the name Alpha. That looks disgusting. Four months later, her tag was washed up on a beach and was handed in by somebody walking by. After reviewing the information from the tag, the researchers were left confused at what had happened. The data revealed that at 4 a.m. on the 24th of November 2003, the shark suddenly plunged at high speed 520 meters down the edge of a continental shelf. Jeez. It also indicated a massive change in temperature from 46 degrees to 78 degrees in seconds. The only explanation the researchers could give was that Alpha had been devoured by another living creature and was deep inside its belly during the recordings. The tag seemed to carry on recording from within the predator's belly for a further eight days before finally being excreted and washed up on the beach. So what could possibly eat a nine foot long healthy great white shark? Well, there have been many theories ranging from an orca or a giant unknown sea creature. An orca? Astonishingly, it took 11 years before a plausible theory was released. Dave Rigg himself theorized the only explanation could be that another even larger cannibal great white shark was responsible. One that would have been almost twice Alpha's size and weighed Jesus. over two tons making it one of the largest great whites ever recorded. <laughs> the only nice other one, explanation that was Funny. brought up is that the tracker fell off Alpha and was eaten by another fish. So what do you think happened? Did the tracker simply fall off and was eaten by a smaller fish? I think it's a lot of faster project. Or was Alpha pulled deep down in the ocean and eaten by an enormous undiscovered predator? Furry creature washes up on beach. In early 2015, a mysterious carcass of a creature was found washed up on an island called Sakhalin, which is located along the east coast of Russia. Furries. The carcass was ripped apart, covered in blood, oh, and what even is this? shooting from its body, and was unusual in the fact that it had a long beak and was around 11 feet in length. At first it was identified by experts to be some kind of rare big dolphin species, but people argue that due to its fur and large size, this is an unlikely candidate. That's so cute, dude. So what I'm not so cute. was it? Well, despite a few theories, there hasn't been any real explanation. It's unsure if DNA samples were taken, and if they were, nothing has been released. How it ended up on the beach in the first place is also a mystery, since the water around that area is colder than most fish this size would usually live in. This led researchers to think whatever it was may have been brought in by a warm current and died when the waters cooled. Not long after its discovery, that, another man? study was done by a group of scientists who came to the conclusion that the carcass could have been a whale cub possibly that of a beaked whale. Since most whales and dolphins are born with hair that they lose quickly, this would explain the fur, but this would have meant that if it was a beaked whale or dolphin cub, it would have been a very large Holy one. shit, those ribs then? Another theory is that it's just a rare large dolphin and those the hair like is tissue fibers. But more interestingly, some think that it's an undiscovered sea creature, which with its size and the unexplored areas within the ocean, this, like all the theories mentioned, Take. cannot be ruled out. Three. This next mystery is actually another washed up creature. Now, I was going to include this thing, which is called the Montauk Monster, that was found washed ashore a beach in New York in 2008. But after reading a lot about it, although it hasn't been fully identified, it doesn't seem like Should a huge ocean. Little, okay. Whereas this next one I'm going to I'm gonna, talk about uh, most certainly in. isn't land based. There isn't a whole lot of information on this, but it was found by a group of people in 2013 on New Zealand's Bay of Plenty Beach. This area is known for having sea creature carcasses washed up, but this one caused a little more mystery, as it was unlike anything previously seen. Fucking its body was 30 feet long and was mostly buried under the sand, but its head and a large dorsal fin could be seen, which that, led a marine biologist to think that it was most likely an orca because of this distinctive fin. But this couldn't be 100% confirmed because- Wait, these orcas can eat fucking sharks then? This? Because of its badly decomposed body. These Some so say sweet. that since the jawline, even after decomposition, is so narrow though, that it's definitely not an orca. 
but it could be an unknown species of whale or an undiscovered creature. Oh, they're so cute. The teeth do look similar to that of a killer whale, so who knows? What do you think? Was it an orca, some type of whale, or a prehistoric creature that we have yet to discover? The 52 Hertz Whale. This next mystery has been around for a while and is actually quite sad. It's the 52 Hertz Whale, often called the loneliest whale in the ocean. It's the story of an unidentified sound that was recorded in the Pacific Ocean in 1989. Not even 60 Hertz. A solitary, unidentified species that is looking for a mate. 52 Hertz is the frequency of the sound which is much higher than any other known whale call. The blue whale is usually 10 to 39 Hertz and a fin whale is around 20 Hertz, making a 52 Hertz call out of the ordinary. It's unsure if it's a male or female or if it's even a whale, but it's definitely something and something that sounds pretty yeah, big. The sound has been tracked every year by scientists since it was first discovered and incredibly the tone of the sound has deepened over the years as it would with a regular whale call. Take a listen. It's a blue whale call. Jesus. That's gonna scare you, dude. Imagine if you heard that while you were swimming, dude. Despite Hell comprehensive no. monitoring and searching, nothing has been found and nobody's sure what is creating the sound. There has been some speculation that it's a malformed blue whale or a mix of blue oh, whale and Oh, you can't hear it. Species. You're right. Fuck. If it is the sound of a whale, then just think it could be the call of an undiscovered species that is the last of its kind left in the world. Unfortunately, though, all that we are left with is the sound that this incredible creature makes, easily making it one of the ocean's biggest mysteries. An interesting side note is that a documentary about the search for the 52 Hertz whale is being released soon. The documentary was funded by Kickstarter, and Leonardo DiCaprio gave $50,000 to help the campaign hit its target, which it did. The team recently went Leonardo out and searched Parker. for the whale, and I believe they are working on the documentary now, which I am super excited to see. Mysterious Giant Shark in early 2000s, okay, scientists dude. from Japan conducted a study to learn more about marine life in the Mariana Trench. Now, for those of you who are not familiar with the Mariana Trench, it's thought to be the deepest part of any of the world's oceans and is located in the Western Pacific. Now, its precise depth is hazy, but it's thought the trench is about 6.8 miles deep. Holy At these depths, shit. it's hard to believe anything could survive, but surprisingly, there are many fish and living organisms down there, which I will talk more about in a documentary about we saw the those in Trench. Fishing. Pog. Anyway, the Japanese scientists were studying an area not far from the trench called the Suruga Bay. They had submerged a container with special bait at a depth of around one mile in hopes of capturing on camera whatever wanted to feed on it. This is a common way of videoing and identifying new and existing sea creatures. At first, the camera picked up a few small known sea creatures followed by a shoal of rare deep sea sharks fish. that measured six foot long. If this wasn't exciting enough for the researchers, the sharks scattered quickly and a huge creature came into view. Its size cannot be justified on the video footage, but the researchers said it would have been between 30 to 50 feet in length. Oh, Just know nah. the Guinness World Record for the largest shark is 37 feet, so if the proportions the researchers have given are correct, this could be the largest shark ever recorded. Take a look. That's fake, dude. The fuck? The fuck is this? Yo, that shit is huge. Hello? Ah, fuck. Dude, what? Should I order food? Fuck, if you want. Well, do you want anything? Not really. Okay. If you order something, give me something uh, of it, please. Get you something? Yeah, a part of it. Okay. Thanks. Please. Scientists aren't exactly sure what type of shark it is, and people have said it could be the long thought to be extinct Megalodon, the gigantic monster of the sea that lived over 2 million years ago and is labelled the largest, most powerful predator in history. But another theory is that the footage caught a very large, very rare Pacific sleeper shark. 
sleeper sharks can grow to lengths of 23 feet, so even if it was a sleeper, it would have been the biggest and longest of its kind to have ever been spotted. A sleeper. So that's five mysterious sea creatures. Don't forget, this is only a fraction of the creatures that must be out there. There is bound to be Dude. thousands of undiscovered species swimming around right now. And there are also many mythical creatures that people think- Yeah, they're cracking, dude. I'm dude, the thing is, dude, these are mostly fake, okay? Hi, PVC. I don't want to be like How a- How are you too? Dude, then I don't want to be like a- Like a pseudo, like- skateboarding video? I don't want to be like a- Like a- Like a pseudo fucking intellectual dude, okay? But my thoughts are it's impossible. Because- the These creatures, dude, they're big, but... The follower Andy is ever going to get is being the voice actor for Marge in the 20th season of The Simpsons. Because, dude, they have to eat to upkeep that size, dude. They have to eat so many nutrients and so many fucking... Dude, they have to eat so much, it's crazy. Right? And there's no way they can eat that much, dude. It's, it, it'd be impossible. 5.7k Andy lol, 5.7k Andy lol, 5.7k.